And anyways, we do have then second game, and the victory will oh, be we've got THC. over to your elite. And yeah, as you mentioned, Vinny, we're going to be having the next matchup. There will be your elite facing up against the guild of Vinny, Falcon, THC family, and the team members are going to be. I'm uh, just going to show it to you guys on two brackets right about now. So, as you guys can see, back on THC, there is the fourth team on the overlay. From the left to right is Sapien Tai. Tell me if I'm saying it wrong, by the way, because you know the players a little bit better than I do. Um, yeah, I generally just call them Sappy. I think Sappy? that's a good, okay. yeah, yeah, let's, good let's for Sappy. Let's go with Sappy. Uh, Thunder Nuke, Silver Nail. Actually, I would like to see Silver Nail getting picked up, getting buffed in the next update, because Silver Nail is getting extremely underplayed in this update. I can help yeah. you. Uh, the player's a crap turn off Chermwalker, like one of the best Chermwalkers in Europe. Oh. Uh, he's, he's like... Love Poggers. that Chermwalker. Poggers. <laughs> 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 then Nessa, Ninja, Mac, Sebi, uh, Shadow, Stefko, and Can Sab. So, Balkan going to be playing into this game. And I think that this is the game where I'm expecting of Vinny to be extremely, extremely unbiased. I know a very professional attitude is waiting for you, Vinny. <laughs> I hope you understand that. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> I'm as unbiased as it gets. <laughs> Start when ready. See, I think we're going to be seeing um, a very different game to what the first couple of games we've been seeing so far. Okay. Boom. So, we have everything uh, set. We're just waiting for one more player on the side of THC as of now. Do you know who's going to be playing? Because I am not seeing I can help you. And for me, he's the, I, he's I, be the I, player. I believe I can help you will be playing. Oh, I, I want to see um, that. I want to see that. I think he's going to be the fifth player, yeah. Okay, I want to be able to say Pog, Tam Pog Champ in chat, you know? Like, I want to, I want to see those huge things. <laughs> and also, like, um, he's been playing, like, Jungle Chumwalker recently. I saw in a bunch of, like, uh, Cryptic Premier League um, tournament. I actually saw that he was playing it Jungle. Is that something he does on a regular basis? Or do he still, like, main it as a roam and plays in Jungle if he plays Jungle? Because he's just a huge, dirty one-trick, just like me. Yeah, well, if we get that, if if we can get, I can help you on that Germ Walker. He 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 can play it wherever. He's just like so good at it, and so yeah, he can play it really well in Rome. He can play it play it really well in jungle as well. Um, so yeah, that's definitely a pick that THC will be trying to pick up if they can. As we are right now, just barely going to be starting the draft. We do have then. I can help you joining the side of the Balkan THC family. So I am I am super stoked. I'm ready for action going up on both teams once again so far in the merciless battles tournament it is uh two victories actually going over to euro elite as they uh, were able to take down the teams of spain versus vg and merciless rising so now thc will they be the guild able to put a stop to euro's elite absolute rampage on the rise that's what we're gonna have to check out in the next upcoming seconds but once again if you do enjoy uh, this tournament, we will be having also a second phase tomorrow. It should be casted um, by German, sorry, by German girls. So if you want to go check it out, going to be here, same time, same place. And as they hit that follow button, and also if you're looking for a nice family-friendly guild, MGL might be. Uh, sorry, I keep saying MGL because there's another tournament organization. MLG <laughs> might be the place for you. <laughs> God damn it! I'm going to keep doing that mistake. <laughs> Okay, so do you reckon we're going to see the same bands again with the Sang Feng first up? Yeah, so we're going yeah, to have the Sang Feng. Why? Like, man, they, they're just, they're being, like, maybe because they've been completely crushing the competition in those first two games, mm. Vinny. Maybe they're just playing it fair game. They're like, okay, we're OP, we'll ban away the OP heroes, and we'll just pick, like, less <laughs> OP heroes, and we'll show you that we can shred with them, okay? That's yeah. Like, maybe how they feel Well, we've seen it. the Ozo already, so it's going <laughs> to... <laughs> Now we need Pedal and Saw, and if they win with that, they're just the best team in Europe, okay? Sly, get out of here. Euro early is here to stay. But they do ban Magnus onto the B side, very smart. Um, like, uh, maybe we would have had actually a Magnus ban on the side of Euro early, and they're looking to go for a Baron ban, mm. which is, once again, really surprising, because it's a high priority pickup, and they're just not ready to go for these OP heroes. They're, they're looking for the out meta picks. They do not want to... Well, they definitely... The I think they've just got their comfort picks, which they like to stick to, so... <laughs> They'll just be picking the. They'll be banning the most OP things because they're, they're. They seem to be more comfortable on their their comfort picks. Man. I wouldn't like to be an analyst for Euro Elite because I would say, oh, these are the best <laughs> picks, and they just completely ignore you, and they just pick what they like. You're like, oh god damn it again. But they're well, going to be going to get for the and Reza. <laughs> but I, yeah, here comes the Churn Walker for oh, I can yes. help you. Let's here go. we go. I can help you. <laughs> I have I have so much faith in you. 
Oh man, I, I gotta be, but I, I gotta be unbiased. I'm really sorry. I know. I, I hope that both teams <laughs> We're can both have a really fun game. <laughs> <laughs> You're for THC, I'm just for I can help you. I'm a huge fan of right here. Uh, Gwen going to be the second pickup. So once again, uh, like really, really uh, solid bot lane right now uh, compared to Baron and Kinetic. So they're going to be good. So that one really works in like any kind of composition. So he's really versatile. Well, I like Yates as a counter to the Chernwalker. So I think that's a pick that should get. Yep, and there's the Yates now. Good job. Because <laughs> yeah. the Chernwalker likes to come for, like be really far forward to land those hooks. So it's always an easy hook f for the Yates onto that Chern. Yeah, because he doesn't really have like any escape, except if he uses a trespass. But that's an ultimate trade out for um, the yeah. Wolf's War Eight like ability. So it's a really good trade off mm -hmm. uh, for the Eight. So it's definitely smart pickup. They're going for the Glaive pick, mm. and it's going to be picked up by Cam Gase. He was playing Ozu last game. I don't know if Cam Gase is going to be actually committing and playing Glaive, or if he's going to be playing another hero and switching up with his teammates. Well, there's Glaive been lots of. They've had three different top laners now. Well, they've actually changed their players. There's no more Bra anymore, is there? Oh, true, actually. Yeah, they replaced him with a DCV DNS. Mm. Good point right there. But yeah, Nessa going to be going for the Lorelei. Um, I'm not sure, like, Lorelei... That might be really a solid. jungle Chermwalker, then. I, it seems like it might be a jungle Chermwalker, but, like, Lorelei in his composition, uh, they have a lot of gap closing, so I think that Lorelei is not going to have as much as an impact you would be looking for. Like, it's, it is definitely a dive team, but they got dashes, and dashes is something that Lorelei can have a hard time actually dealing with, except if they're peeling out of the fight and then do they actually win that peel and then trying to re-engage, that's when Lorelai is going to be able mm. to really have that huge advantage. But like, uh, as a dive comp, uh, Rez and Glaive are going to be able to shred through quite early on. Then they did go also for the Adagio. Next pickups will be Malene and uh, the Celeste. So Celeste is going to be picked up. Panzer was just shredding it once again. If he did just arrive, Panzer had an insane game number one up against Spain versus VG. He did 20-0-9 Celeste, which is an absolute huge play. And he's going to be on that pickup again, so Panzer feeling very confident on that Celeste, and I cannot wait to see how he's going to play in this third game versus Bakken THC family. And last pickup will be Nessa playing on this Batiste pickup, and Batiste is actually a hero that gets paired, like, picked up pretty rarely. But if it's played I properly, I think he's very good, so good into this Reza and to the Glaive. It's good counters to those two picks for sure. Yeah, it's very, it's very uh, draft specific. So picking in this situation where you have heroes, that if they get, if they dive you, yeah, if you're able to isolate them, uh, such as Batiste is able to do, he's got CC on his um, Ordain and on his there's some shade. You can really isolate those kind of targets and make it easier for your team to shut them down. So I, I think the gun in, in Batiste into this comp is very smart, as you said, Benny. So definitely, I'm liking draft on both sides, but still. Even if the draft is pretty good on both sides, you have to win, uh, like, choose one winner and only one team will come out on top. So, Benny, in your opinion, which team will be claiming the third game of the day? I've got to go with THC. They've got the Chen Walker <laughs> with I Can Help You. It's just, if you do that, there's just no way you can lose. Okay, well, I think I'm going to be, uh, like, I like a split desk, okay, uh, Benny? Like, that's something you have to know <laughs> about me as a caster. I love having a split desk, and I love having split opinions. So, I really, um, I I'm really going to have to follow up on the side of Euro Elite, once again, because we had such um, nice gameplay coming out from them in those two first games. They're absolutely shredding it in those late-game team fights, And also, just having Panzer in the mid lane is feeling very really confident. Um, in yeah, they've matches. got that Celeste Yates combo, which is very scary. Yeah, we talked and about that. And he's against an Adagio once again. So we know, we know what happened last time when it was Celeste versus Adagio. So yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting to see how this one pans out. Pans out. Oh, pans out because it's called Panzer. Right? Hey, hey, got <laughs> it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> but yeah, so Silver now is starting with uh, actually. Swift Shooter and Boots, which is, uh, I wouldn't personally recommend to start with those two items after you are playing against the Yeto. Being able to reposition yourself early on if you do get mm. hit by Wolf's Maw makes a lot of sense. But I think that maybe going for like extra sustain with me was a Bukov UGs would have been better. He does get grabbed back by Lars. And he's definitely already having a hard time. But yeah, so I don't know. I hope that this is going to, like, as you said earlier, I hope this is going to be a CP uh, Adagio because Weapon Adagio definitely not working out in the mid lane. Like, if you want to play, yeah, I'd much lane, prefer CCP. <laughs> Anyway. But yeah, you've got this Malene bot lane. So yeah, there's some definitely some interesting bot lanes coming out from the A side here. Uh, Meg Jake We've had the Ozo and now earlier. the Malene. So now he's going to be into this uh, bot lane position and he's already out trading a Thunder Nuke. Uh, I think it would have been probably better to have in the mid lane... Um, to have in the mid lane uh, Lorelei because Lorelei can really uh, allow you to uh, early on deal with uh, Celeste and... Um, Sorry, um, a Yates quite like easier than an actual Chernwalker can because you, as you mentioned earlier, oh, be careful, we're gonna have an engage now. It's a stun and Ooh. nice CC chain actually, right on top 
of the Adagio Silver now going to be dropping down. But then, as you mentioned earlier, like, um, got to come back on that. Chomoko is a really easy target for those Wolf Small, so putting him into the laning phase kind of puts him to a disadvantage, in my opinion. So I think Lorelei being able to, like, bring utility from a further distance and in a safer spot would have been maybe mm. more interesting in this early mid-game fight. Yeah, I agree with that. It's definitely more uh, effective mid lane geo against the Yates is the Lorelei. Uh, rather than the churn, I'd like to see them. I'd love, like to have seen them flex the churn to the jungle. Oh, but nice chain and uh, pull back, and they pick up a return kill there. Able to trade out their own death earlier, as we are now two minutes thirty seconds into the game. A gold lead. Oh, one thousand gold is actually going over to the mm. side of um, of Euro Elite. So not looking good for THC early on because one thousand gold lead. Like, we're, even though it's not exactly one thousand. Wait, it is actually right now. And they just shredding it. Um, but no, he's actually got reduced. Man, he's going up and down. But yeah, they are able to... Oh, look at that nice CC wall. Small pet up with the core collapse. This is a disgusting combo. We were talking about Benny. And just can't deal yeah. with it early on. And like, it's just like Panzer. Give him just... Give him your hand. And he's going to take your entire arm and just take it away. He's just going to shred you down. That was actually a French saying. It doesn't seem like it works in English. It doesn't work. It's it actually feels weird in English how I said it. Because that's a French one. Oh, really? <laughs> actually, you say that in French, but you can't say it in English. I thought I was going to try and it doesn't work. Okay. I'll remember. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that Dajio, the Dajio just has such a tough time against that CC. He's got no way to escape it. So as soon as what that one hook gets landed. Ooh. Oh, he's a torment right there. I can help I you. I can help you. Turns into a turret shot. Last nice wall. And that starts with Pan's first death of the tournament. The third game in, he's finally been killed. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, it's true. The ninth story <laughs> earlier was the virus. So that's going to be uh, already... Uh, his first time dying into the game. Oh, I was gonna say feels good, man. Like that wouldn't be very nice, but feels good, man. <laughs> he's not unstoppable, okay? Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, he's not. He's not immortal. That's good to know. Get into the mid lane. He's back. We're gonna have a rotation from so, yeah. Nessa. Trying to hit the stunners. Get the stun on top of. I can help you. Trying to turn it around into Silver Nail. Does get the block. The block will be used a little bit too early, and now he should be going down to basic attacks. Now. Hands are going to be the main focus. Double Man Torment going to be able to yeet them right back towards them. He does get the Ordain, but still not able to finish it up with a kill. They're pretty low though, and so on Nessa and I can help you. So I think that they should just maybe pull this on a day. Just uh, go back to base and get your items. But like Panzer right now in terms of CS, he's 28 CS in. And when you look at the enemy, Adagi is 25. So definitely, even though he's having a hard time, like he is 1 to 3, his farming is definitely on point. He's not falling behind, even though he died three times. And that's something you've got to try and pay close attention to because, once again, Adagio, when you fall behind early on, it's just not going to be a hero that's going to have that much of an impact later on in the game. Um, but he's definitely found up well. Like, he's not falling behind, which yeah. is what you want to see. Well, soon I've, he's picked up a block now, which is really, I think, is a really great uh, idea because as soon as some of that CC gets lands on you, you're just done for if you're in Adagio. So that block was definitely a crucial pickup, and now he can focus a bit more damage. So as soon as he's picked up that alternating current, I think we'll see him really have a much better time in line. Yeah, he's got to really definitely try and play around that. But also, he's got such a like big range. He's got like one of the biggest ranges in the entire game. Oh, be careful though. In bot lane, 1v2 situation going over. Mac Jake. Not Mac Jack. Again, paired up. Does get the barrier. Will he go down? Yes, last basic stack of Thunder Nuke. We'll be able to take him down in one clean sweep. Excuse me, the first time uh, he's going to actually be done in this game. He was also like just... Going back to base right now, he had uh, enough gold to get himself an Eclipse Prism, Energy Battery, and also Tier 1 Boots. And then he's going to be using the ultimate on himself, gets that Water Wall, and he's uh, actually... It's on herself. He actually could have kept running towards the turret, but he just like stopped at some point. Even though there was the Netherfall yeah. Detonator, he's uh, going to be going there, down there, and that's a very yeah, unfortunate... Yeah, she, she seemed to survived. not realize which way her base was. She was running <laughs> the wrong like, where direction. where am I going? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's going to be giving over his life. It's her life anyway. Amy. Putting the thunder nuke. Da, da, da. Right. Here we are now. Six minutes in. Four to three. Definitely a really even game. As we have almost like 1,000 gold league going over to the side of Euro uh, Euro Elite. So I uh, like... <clears throat> checking out a little bit of the builds. A little bit everywhere. What's going on. I'm checking out also Camp Gaze. who was playing then Ozo early on in the game. And that bot lane up against Malin. Completely shredding it. And he is 0-0 zero, zero in this game. Going for some sustain. I don't know if he's going to go for Serpent Mask or Poison Shave. I, I think that Poison Shave might make more sense because you are playing up against Lorelei, Batiste, Adagio, Chermoko, a team that has so much self-sustain and heals. Yeah. So, like, like, I would recommend Spellfire and uh, 
poison shave. Like so much, this game is insane. Like, yeah, Satchel, so Yeah, Panzer's gone for the Eve of Harvest first again, and I really think he wasn't as far ahead as last time. So I think the Spellfire definitely would have been a better pickup, but definitely he's making it work that. still. Definitely wouldn't recommend it at this point of the game. Though they do get the yeah. Eve back with the Torment of I Can Help You. But still, like, they're just doing so much work. And they're, only, they're 2v3, and they just completely win that trade-off. Mm. And they're able to push back. Sylvanel is going to be back and back to base. Let's hit the stun. And now Thundernute going to be rotating his way to the mid lane. But they are pretty far away, so I don't think Thundernute can really bring much to that skirmish. And yeah, but like, like, yeah, I'd definitely like to see a Poison Shiv on the Glaive, but... I I definitely I'd like to see that as a second item on Glaive. Yeah. I think it's it's much better as a second item than first item Poison Shiv. Mm, definitely, like one of y'all still in your laning phase. So if you go Poison Shiv against the Gwen, Gwen will out trade you quite easily. Yeah, really. it, you you're lacking a bit of early game damage, but second item it's great because Glaive already has some pretty nice sustain, and then with a Poison Shiv on top of that, when he uses ultimate, he can heal so much. Oracle Collapse going to be missing out by Panzer into the middle. I'm just keeping almost my camera all the time in the mid lane because that's where all the action's at. Yeah, so much action, <laughs> yeah. The jungler's just constantly ganking the mid lane. I can help you. Taking a lot of damage. Does able to trespass away. Hits a very valuable stun on top of the Celeste paired up with the Fist Into the shade. Fearsome and now Shade. Now he's going to get turned around in one clean swoop. He's going to be over to end us to uh, get a kill for his troubles. That's going to be a one for one trade off. I can help you. And Lars going to be dropping on both sides. Mac Jake is not ready to surrender, to surrender quite yet. We'll be using the flask there, but the damage output by Sylvanel a little bit too dominant. I'm going to be letting that one slip away. Cam, guys, he's looking to engage, but like in this scenario, that's where Batiste really stands out. If you do dive in with your Ooh. afterburn, you just can just get like um, CC down by the ordain of the Batiste and just not able to peel yeah. yourself away. So there, that's a moment where Batiste really uh, comes on point. Well, one thing I think uh, the uh, and the Solarium needs to slightly be worried about in team fights. Is that right now they've only got, they're only going to have one Crucible with this Yates when when he's finished that because this Glaive is going weapon power. So you've got some big ultimates on the enemy team with Churn Walker and Baptiste and Adagio. So in team fights it, it could be pretty um, rough if they if they don't manage to Crucible all of those abilities at the same time. I'm looking at Cam Geist. He will be, unfortunately, uh, going to be going for the first item of Poison Shave. I think that he might be going for Spell Sword or maybe going for the House and Chargers. Um, I think House and Chargers would be uh, like a little bit of a waste. I think that going for Spell Sword would make a lot more sense on Glade. Then going for probably Journey Boost to be able to like peel in and out of team fights. Uh, because we, we talked about it again. Like He does have a hard time dealing with CC and they can just completely isolate him with the... Um, Lolai, the Chamwalker, the Batiste, they just have so much CC on their, t on their side that I think that being able to really roam around a little bit easier with those journey boots would make a lot more sense on, on the Glaive. What do you think of that, Benny? Yeah, I'd like to, I'd like to yeah, st definitely that would be a, a nice pickup for sure. Because Glaive often has some pr uh, slight uh, energy issues because his uh, afterburn is quite a high energy ability. So. But then also those tier 3 boots, like you say, are really useful on him. So picking up that spell sword would be useful. There's some shade going to be Oof. not connecting on anyone there. But now Yates is not able to peel his way to safety. And he's going to be dropping down. Now it's 3v4 and a dodger using the boots. Going to get CC down by the light ribbon of Mac Jake. Already able to commit to that fight very unfortunately. But now we are 10 minutes into the game. 5-5, five to five, a goal lead of 2,000 for the side of Euro Elite. But now rotation from Ness actually also... On to this Glaive, and he's going to get stunned out by the Aces High. Blood's not going to be used up. He doesn't have any more sustain because he just used his passive stacks. And he's going to be dropping down to um, Sap uh, Sappy, as you said earlier. Going to call him Sappy, Sappy yep. and Nessa. Yeah, really nice rotation there. Like the Glaive overextending, trying to go it all in. And then he just came up and turned that fight around. I don't really think you can really protect the turret on your own, but if you have a uh, Panzer join you, you might be able to turn this yeah. one around. Let's go, baby. Are you trying to get the heal? Oh, Ooh, I don't think yeah, that he's really thought he was. Out of it for, uh, yeah, he didn't really think he was gassed out there, but he didn't actually. It was just a random healer. I think a uh, Panzer maybe just guessed or just tried to anticipate the movement of the Chermoker. Yeah, nice place for him. Now the turret should. Ooh, an intense one v one in bot lane. Oh yeah, but like, I didn't, I didn't even look at it. But yeah, that's going to be then Malin picking up the kill onto the Lorelei. Uh, Wolfsmore gonna be missing out actually for last, and now double man trespass on the turret. I can help you, Poggers in chat. But it does connect oh. with that core collapse around top of Sappy, and he's gonna be shut oh, can down. Can I help you pull him back again? Yes, he can. Oh, yes, in the form detonator, but one more turn oh, shot will be the killing blow. 
<laughs> what a feast. Man, now, now you're a lot more energetic because your team is losing. Like, oh, come on, guys, what's going on? I said bias casting coming out. Gets the core collapse, but nice crucible used up by Ivan. And he's as well. <laughs> it's so hyped, oh, aren't you? <laughs> I can help you. Oh, I love you, man. God damn it. I used to play so much with I can help you before. I don't know why. I, I, I'd like to start playing with him so he can uh, boost me. I mean, I just play with <laughs> him. Now I want to play with him. <laughs> we want to play with him. He's in my team now. <laughs> Oh, damn it. I'll join, I'll join TNC. Uh, T I've stolen him from you. <laughs> oh god damn it. <laughs> Give him back. Okay, wait, can you steal it, please? Oh no. Well, please, what am I saying? <laughs> Go on, Lars. <laughs> can you get a wolf more um, in a few seconds, maybe? Uh, we do have Reza and Celeste joining the mid lane. They might be able to get a kill. Top of Silvernail. A little bit confident on his positioning. Talking, talking about Silvernail. Uh, he did actually go for first item alternative current, so pretty good. Like first item for a CP, um, CP Adagio. But be careful, fight is coming out. Just get the stun top of Adagio. Then the Helio doing quite a bit of work for Panzer. And now the Wolf Small under turret, very valuable target. And now DCV just around the corner. They do use the water wall. Trespass gonna use oh. up two huge, huge stuns coming out. And now they use the Aces High onto Lars's out position. They do get the Fism Shake, gonna be hitting all three members under their very own turret. And that's going to be Yates taken down. Yeah, yeah you just see be... all that CC coming out. It's just over the course of a the fight, there's only one block. And then as soon as that's gone, it's just really tricky to be able to fight them. I think Cam Guys should go like, a uh, block is going to be very important for me. I think they're actually picking up a second Crucible mm. for his team. He's going to get like a little bit more tanky out of it. And also uh, going to bring a lot more team utility. So I think Glaive would get a lot out of going for Crucible. Right now, yeah, I think that's stuff. really important. He picks up another crucible. Your, oh, the ordain gets the CC, and they're just not able to turn it around. Oh, but now, Cam guys yeah. and also Panzer, can they pick up this fight? Yates How did I can help you survive that? I don't know. He just sustained. So <laughs> <laughs> that's Joe Walker. It's just, uh, he just back if he has hooks everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Complete disrespect. <laughs> but it feels good, anyways. Right now, gonna have Cam guys. Uh, I thought he was gonna go for jungle invade. Didn't really have the information. And Silvernail went for second item. Dragon's Eye, uh, mm. which is uh, something you don't really see that often. What do you think of Dragon's Eye in this specific matchup here, Benny? I just, I think on a Dajo, just like going for that Shattered Glass is more effective once again. Well, block going to be a little bit late there. Chris also used up on the side of Euro Elite, able to really avoid the CC from that. Um, mm. But now that block is down for a good 60 seconds, so. Cam guys, all Ordain does connect. Ace is able to really oh. slip his way through, but he has the flask as the last resort. Fist and Shade going to be oh, used no. up, going to be missing out the main target that was guys, and he will be able to peel and slip his way out of that one. Yeah, although he's, he's looking again for the engage. Ordain once again on Glaive. Glaive is just so good at escaping with, when you've got boots and afterburn. It's just so hard, even with an, a, that Ordain, if you just wait out, you can just escape. It's freed on last, very low. Does use the fast. Does he have the ultimate to reposition? No, he yeah, does. Cool 30 second out. cooldown, and he's going to be shut down. Oh, we have someone. Mac Jake uh, trying to get into business. He wasn't really looking for at this point, but now like, he is stacked up. 15 Dragon's Eye stacked. I was doubting it, but if these are like most yeah. of the fights they're actually having, like actually Silvernail could do an insane amount of damage. Imagine Silvernail's verse of judgment ultimate damage if he's like full stack on Dragon's Eye. That could be huge. <laughs> I can't really wait to see that come out. Core collapse does go down on top of Silvernail. Pet up with the Solar Storm ripping on through. Does get soaked up by the Flask. Now, yeah, with all this sustain, it does actually make Dragon's Eye slightly more effective because these team fights are lasting longer yeah. than some of the ones we've had in the previous games. So there is definitely an upside to it. The thing is, like, after I think that they should still be able to like shut down the Adagio really fast because he's going to be one of the main targets on the enemy team of THC. Mm. I, I do think I think that Shadow Glass would have still been better, but, but when you've got that when you've got that big Lulai shield, it's actually really hard to just one shot a hero off the map. Oh, Mac J getting chased down by Silvernail and Thunder Nuke, but now we have uh, DCV and guys just uh, coming around trying to help him peel his way through that one. We are now 60 minutes into the game, ladies and gentlemen. 13 to 8, going over to the members of THC. I think I know someone that might be happy in the chat with oh. me right now for them. Yeah, to be THC this game. really but pulling off. Taken. Something we haven't seen so far. Yeah, they're doing a really good game. Chris, we're going to be used up to avoid the CC of the uh, Ordain, but though Trespass is available for I can help you. So that means, once again, as you said earlier multiple times, there's only one Crucible on the side of Euro Elite. So now that's going to be a free CC potential for I can help you if he doesn't get stunned out of the Trespass. So I can help you kind of feel pretty confident in the next fight because he's got nothing separating him between 
um, between himself and that extra CC on the entire enemy team. So if he can pull it off, he can really turn around the entire course of the upcoming team fight, at least for the next um, next 40 seconds, because the Crucible will be back up in 40 seconds for last on this Yates. Yeah, I think the longer these fights go on, the better for THC, because as soon as that block gets used up, then you've just got free CC from these other big, from these multiple CC ultimates, and that's just what, that's what wins team fights if you get five-man stuns. So, Ooh, my definitely team. I think... Ooh. Man, just so eyes unless one of the heroes gets blown up. Unless a Reza assassinates the Adagio or Gwen at the start of the fight, I really think that THC do have these team fights with the composition they've built. They definitely do seem to be pretty confident in this game. They do take the bot lane turret for themselves. They like seems like TNC now they're they're really looking for more of these fully pledged team fights, which is definitely something you want to look towards because they have so much CC potential and, and CC chaining potential once again that they could just easily take the fight. Now it's a 4v3 fully pledged engage for the members of THC. Core collapses go down on Silver now paired up with the wall small, gonna be able to put him under turret crucible used up pretty early on. Well, look at that damage. Solo Storm ripping on through. Doing quite a bit of work Oof. on top of Silvernail and Thunder Nuke. And now they are looking for this engaged potential call. Collapse going to be missing out. Or Celeste. Now also Trespass was not used. It's still up and available if you want to use it. But I can help you. Might be going down. Oh, Trespass a little bit too late. Even if the Crystal was more... 15 no, stacks on the Dragon's Eye for Celeste. Yeah. Just completely shredding it down. But yeah, that's very unfortunate yeah. for... Um, or I can help you because actually like the Crucible was still on cooldown at the at that point of time So if he was able to hit that pretty early mm -hmm. on it would have completely d obliterated the enemy team because they just had such a nice setup and also uh, Silvernail was starting to really uh, Be stacked up on his dragon's eye. So he really had the, the potential to turn around that entire fight, but Sappy able to pick up the kill. I, don't, I like that name Sappy actually I don't know. <laughs> it Feels weird like nice, nice nickname. I like it. Who found it? Did you yeah. find it? No, it was just when I first joined, that's what everyone was calling him, so... Oh, damn it. I just joined in. <laughs> I want a nickname like that. <laughs> Give me one, THC, please. <laughs> yeah, 80 minutes into the game. Uh, so now, like, this game is, like, still pretty even. Like, we have four extra kills going over to the side of THC. The goal lead is, though, dominant on the side of the um, Euro Elite. So... Like, yeah, great performance from THC right now. Yeah, the, great. Of course, great performance. You, you're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna support your team. But like, just late. Like we were talking about the early, about the mid game, like into like hero power spikes on both sides. Like now that we're in the late game, depending on the builds, depending on the compositions, like because we're gonna have to actually engage on top of the Batista and just gonna get completely shut down by Panzer Solo Storm just stacking up on the Dragon's Eye. Trespass gonna get two oh, yes. CC Crucible a little bit late from last. But now Stavka, uh, no sorry, Panzer, can he peel his way out of that one? I don't really think so. The Come stacks on. of Dragon's Eye are up and available for Silvernail. Eight stacks. Dude, <laughs> absolute work on this pickup. I, I was doubting it, but now he, he sold me. You know what? Feels good. Yeah, he's pulling it off for sure. Light ribbon. Like, no one had been able to bring down Panzer before this, and now. Oh, yes. Just look at that oh, damage. Oh, lovely plays. Damn it. Good job from THC. So you, see, you see how the CP Adagio has had so much, much better effect than that weapon Adagio oh, we saw earlier. You can see it right there. And like, yeah. Just that Dragon's Eye is working so well. It's actually, I'm, I'm, I'm legit surprised at this point. And still no block out of this glaive. Never mind a Crucible. So it's just these ultimates are just getting um, just getting like no answer, not any answers to by this the other side of Interstellarium. They just can't really do much. Like, once again, like Cam guys, he is going. Then he did go for the poison shift spell sword build. Uh, that's completely fine in my opinion. Then he looks like he's going for attention. Oh, nice again, steal there from Panzer. Panzer steals away the CP buff. Well, Dan, I didn't see that. I was looking uh, on the top of Blade because I was talking about him. But still, now turret <laughs> going to be choked down by this black claw. Going to be taking a little bit extra triple damage as the turret does fall. Now it's 4v4, um, Siege coming out, as Cam Guys is going to be joining. Yeah, 4v5 now as Cam Guys is going to be joining. And now they have lost already, solo 9 game. Oh, that's going to be just glad. as I mentioned earlier, if you get out of position, just going to be CC to death and absolutely obliter yeah. obliterated. That's the one issue in this there. game. That's huge damage from the solo storm of Panzer on this Celeste. And now they're just completely falling off this game, Benny. And he's just stacked up on the Dragon's Yeah, the whole side. of this fight, they didn't have any of the... But oh, wait, the flank from Baptiste, well, if he gets is. a good... No. <laughs> They've already lost the fight. He's feeling confident, Panzer. Yeah, like, they, he's they overextended up. far too much. Ooh, he gets it. Nice job. Yeah, I think the dragon's go still the dragon. going, though. Yeah, they should go for the Black Claw right now, Panzer. They're, they're looking for the kill maybe a little bit too much. 
and they will lose uh, they will lose their their second mid lane turret get a little bit of damage on the choke point turret in the mid lane though they're going to try and trade that out with their second bot lane of their own taken away by panzer just doing huge damage on those turrets like really good hero to siege down those objectives and 22 minutes in and still like the game is pretty even line terms of kills still getting completely taken over by the sort of thc but gold wise is also one still at this point going over to Euro Elite. So I, I, at this point in time, Benny, I just couldn't say who is going to be taking the game because it still seems pretty even. And I mm. think that like the team that wins the team fights, uh, the, sorry, loses the team fights, the one that does the mistake because I've seen quite a bit of mistakes. Maybe like people being out of position, like Glaive diving on his own, just a few things like that. And now he's up. Yeah, the I just out. think cause there's no weapon carry at all mm -hmm. on the uh, Ender Solarium side. And also the, the amount of CC coming out from uh, in team fights from uh, Balkan THC. If there's all five of them there in a 5v5 team fight, I think Balkan can win it. But as you saw in that last fight, there was just the Baptiste just farming of side lane the whole time. And so, of course, they were going to lose the 4v5. So they need to be careful when they want to be engaging on that at this stage of the game. They've yeah, got to play very close attention. So it seems like Cam Guys is going for the easiest once again. I think that Crucible would have been pretty nice to go for, but it seems like he's committing to that. Now we have a Siege coming out of the turret. Second mid lane turret is pretty damn low and Celeste should be able to choke it down pretty easily. There it is, going to be taken up. Now, front line coming out from I Can Help You, doing quite a lot of work there. Able to pull him back in our position. Wall small run top of I Can Help You. Can he survive? Oh, the huge fearsome, fearsome shade. You only have one shade. crucible and you must have got two crucies down. Now you're going to be peeing Ooh. for your sins. Yeah, insane. Oh my god. See the CC just taking over these team fights. Yeah. Absolutely shredding it, and Cam Guys is going to be the last remaining. Oh, but the survivor. Glaive manages to escape. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 Penta. If the, had, if, yeah. if the Glaive had died, that would have been game. Hmm. Oh, they, they could have pushed it. Like the wave is there. They could have actually ended. They it could right have there. ended anyway. Yeah, I think. They could have got it. Yeah, they could because the wave is pushing now. They just had to like push it a little bit more. And the time, mm -hmm. the respawn time is already so long. Uh, 24 minutes into the game, like they're around 25. Yeah, 30 that was seconds. definitely. I think that was a quite a big mistake going for Ghostwing. They could have just Glaive's not going to do anything versus five yeah. people. But now he's on his own. Does well, get if they catch him out. Instantly. If they catch him out, as you said, they can maybe just mm, close no, up out, this game. Out. Now, choke point turret going to be taken down by the side of back and THC. Oh. Not really ready to overcommit. And I understand that. Like, you don't want to really throw the game out. Like, yeah. throws are a thing. <laughs> so, just uh, play They're safe. A big I thing, yeah. That. I respect it. And you've got some pretty big shutdowns on the Gwen. Especially. Like, that's going to be a high shutdown. Six and one right now. So are they able to turn this Ooh, game around? They've got the Ghost Wing buff, so I think... Oh no, Cam Guys after burn game, we're able to put down Lorelei out of position. And that oh, huge Fearsome no, Shade connected. Fearsome Two shade. team fights in a row. Fearsome Shade makes the entire fight possible for the THC members. But now, so let's ripping on through. Doing quite a bit of work. <laughs> shut down Lorelei. Soaked up the damage. I, I think that I can help you. Could have maybe repositioned in front and soaked it up himself. But like, that's very mm. unfortunate. Didn't happen. But now Gwen, one-on-one -on -one situation with... The Celeste and Knife really Panzer. There. Can he pick it up? Oh, yes. Yeah. Shuts him down with the Nether Form Detonator. Oh, come on, come on. And Mac Jack going to be CC down. Nice. <laughs> oh, my God. This is yes. disgusting, Godly. CC. What the hell's going on? THC End just popping off late game. And it's not. This actually might be. It will be. That's got to be game. Yeah, that's game. 15 seconds for Glade. This is GG. They've taken them late. down. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I knew they could do it. Great. Yeah. Like, really I, good. I think the point still play. stands like. Two Crucibles was definitely, definitely needed. Yeah, definitely. Um, well, Yates didn't even use his Crucible in that last team fight. He just got blown up straight away. Well, maybe they can turn it around on their own. Fism Shade going to be used up. They do get CC'd up and feared away. And uh, Camp Guys is uh, doing quite a bit of work on the Adagia, but still the Vein Crystal dropping low, low to the point where it's actually taken down. And this will be then uh, Euro Elite. Three games in a row, unfortunately not really able to claim the third game. Still two games going their way. Congratulations, but... In this game, it was back in THE family claiming their victory royale. And now they're going to be uh, going further in the Merciless Battles tournament. That means they're going to be playing next up against the second team of Merciless. And that's going to be Merciless Grind going to be their next opponents. Still, like, do you have anything like build-wise that's like, kind of like in intriguing you in this game? I'm intrigued by um, one build and it's Mac Jake going for the Dragon's Eye on, on the Malene. I'm not a big fan of it because he was, he was falling behind quite 
heavily. So I think that when you do not have the time to stack up on the Dragon's Eye, because again, shut down so easily, I think the relying around Burst, even maybe Aftershock, uh, would have been something way more interesting for him because he has quite a bit of tanks to actually deal with. He has Nessidus a tank, Thunder Nuctus a tank. I can help you this also a tank. I, I don't really agree with the Dragon's Eye. I do agree for the Dragon's Eye on Panzer though, but like, not really for Mac Jake. Vinny? Okay, I think, I think we, uh, Vinny, are you there? Yeah, sorry, yeah. Okay, so I yeah, just, I, I, as, yeah, as I said, I was asking you, oh. uh, what do you think of like the, the Dragon's Eye on the Malin this game? I personally don't really agree on it, but like for Mac Jake. <laughs> I don't. I don't think it was just her build. I think it was all. It was just the hero that was picked in the bot lane. They just didn't have that weapon power carry. And like Gwen was getting a lot of damage off in those last team fights because with all that peel from the CC, Gwen was just getting tons of free damage off. Um, but the Malin doesn't have that. Can't rival that same kind of output of weapon damage. There was just a massive lack of because especially with no block on the glaive. There was just no weapon damage at all coming out from the side of Endless Delirium, and that was a really big factor in teamfights.